Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're searing some scallops and we're serving it over an orange and soy glaze. To start this dish, we have to make our glaze. So I have four cloves of garlic. We're not gonna choppity chop these up today. We're simply gonna smash them and peel the skin off. You could even leave the skin on if you want to. It's completely up to you, I just like to take it off. We just want some of that garlic flavor to infuse into our sauce. So pop that into a small saucepan. We also need a half of an inch of ginger. I'm not even going to peel this, I'm just gonna take the back of my knife, give this a nice little bash. We wanna encourage some of those essential oils to start coming out. And again, we want this flavor to infuse into our sauce. Pop that into the saucepan with the garlic, and then add a quarter of a cup of a light low sodium soy sauce. As this reduces, it's gonna get salt here. So you definitely want a low sodium soy sauce. Next, we're gonna zest one whole orange straight into the pot. Being careful not to get any of that white pith in there because it does tend to get a little bitter. We just want the essential oils from that uh, zest of the orange. And don't forget to scrape the back of your zester because that's where all that lovely peel likes to hide. We're also gonna juice that orange. We need half of a cup of orange juice. It took me one and a half oranges, but it will depend on how juicy or juicy your actual oranges are to reach that half of a cup. Just give that a good squeeze and then pour the half a cup into the saucepan. We're also gonna need one tablespoon of lime juice. Just roll your limes um, on your bench. Just to encourage those juices to release. Or if you have a microwave, I don't. That's why I roll mine. Um, pop it in the microwave for 10 seconds. So squeeze in. It took me a half of a lime to get one tablespoon of that juice. Now we're gonna move over to the stove and bring this up to a boil. And then we're gonna lower the heat so that this simmers. And we're going to reduce this down. We have about three quarters of a cup of liquid in this pot already. So we want to reduce it down to a quarter of a cup, which should take about 15 to 20 minutes. Just keep an eye on it because we want it to be syrupy, but we want it to have fluidity to it. We don't want this to over reduce and become like a caramel. So I'm going to move this over to a different um, range top here or a different burner because this is my favorite burner. I think everyone has their favorite burner on their stove. And we're going to heat up a large saucepan, a saute pan I should say, on high heat. And to this we're going to add a tablespoon of butter and a tablespoon of olive oil. The olive oil is going to help that butter not burn. And while that's heating up, I have rinsed and I'm patting dry one pound of dry sea scallops. It's important to get these as dry as possible because we want a nice sear. And you want to salt and pepper both sides of your scallops, but you want to do this an instant before you're going to put it on the stove top. If you do it beforehand, it's going to release a little bit more liquid, which again is going to deter a nice hard sear on these scallops. So right before you're ready to start cooking them, give them a nice seasoning with some salt and some pepper. Now that our scallops are seasoned and we're just starting to see little wisps of smoke coming from our oil, we're going to space out our scallops, giving them room to breathe. And there's always a pretty side of the scallop and a not so pretty side. I like to put them pretty side down. So that will be the presentation part. It's a little smoother. If you look at scallops, you'll see what I mean. So just place all of your scallops in there. And these are going to cook for about two minutes. You don't really want to move them around or play with them. You want to just give that, that surface time to really sear and get a nice golden brown. So after about two minutes, I'm just giving these a little check. Some of them are ready to flip over, others are not. So be patient, flip the ones over that are ready to be flipped. Leave the ones that still need a little more searing time. Once you flip them over though, it's only gonna take another minute because you wanna just cook these until they're slightly opaque all the way through. You don't wanna overcook your scallop because it's gonna turn into rubber and that's no fun to eat. Now that our sauce has reduced, I've taken it over the stove and you can see the consistency. It's a little syrupy, but it still has fluidity. Now I'm removing all the garlic and ginger because it's done its job. It's infused all that wonderful aromatic flavor. And this should be the consistency, maybe even a little thicker of your glaze. So we're gonna set that aside while we start to plate. So lay down your favorite plate and you can do that fancy schmear 
<laughs> that professional chefs do. I don't know how to do that. I know there's a way to do it with a spoon. I'm just laying down a nice line of glaze and you can see it's, it's not running. It's a perfect consistency. Now we're going to layer on four scallops. You could do this family style and do this on a large platter. I'm just doing this as individual servings. Now I got some packaged microgreens just because I thought they would look so pretty on top. I'm just taking a little bit and placing a little bit of those microgreens on top of each scallop. I'm trying to make this plating a little fancier than my normal plating. This is not something that I usually do, um, but I'm trying to up my game a little bit here. You can see my fancy food tweezers I actually didn't use at all uh, resting on the bench right there, but go ahead and arrange your microgreens the way you like it until it looks pleasant and lovely to you. And then we're just gonna sprinkle a tiny little bit more of that glaze on top of the microgreens just to dress it. I didn't want to dress them beforehand because they're so tender. I didn't want them to get soggy. That's not such a shabby job. I think that looks lovely. If I do say so myself. Now let's give these a taste. The scallops are cooked beautifully. They're slightly opaque in the middle. They're not rubbery. They're still tender. That glaze adds a saltiness and a slight sweetness from the orange juice. But you taste the ginger in there. You taste the garlic. And the microgreens add a nice little crunch and freshness to the top of our beautiful little scallops. This is a dish that's perfect for appetizers if you want to serve them individually or as a full meal but they're lovely and decadent and beautiful but there it is seared scallops with an orange and soy glaze with just a little microgreens i hope you guys try to make it thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video give it a like if you loved it subscribe and hit that notification bell because i put out new videos every thursday thanks again and until next time happy cooking Yikes. That would have been a terrible, terrible mistake. Uh, let's work a little more carefully.